Hello children, this is Ms. Poonam here with another story called The Unique Fancy Dress Competition. Unique Fancy Dress Competition children has been written by my friend Jyoti Ayer who we lovingly call Jo and Jo wants to teach you about human organs through this story. Now children, the story begins like this. Kavya and Karan are very excited. They are participating in a unique fancy dress competition called Fit and Fine, which is taking place on a webinar. The mothers in their apartment block have gotten together and asked their children to dress up like human organs to keep them engaged and at the same time learning and they are decided to have this unique fancy dress competition. And Kavya's mama has asked her what she would like to dress up as. And Karan too. Now Kavya says, good healthy food to stay fit, fit. Looking after the digestive system is particularly important. What we eat goes inside our stomach. And food travels through the food pipe into the elastic bag, the stomach, and then through to the small intestines which are coiled up and gets absorbed there and the waste is thrown out from the large intestines out of the body through rectum. And she says, but she would like to dress up as the stomach. What am I going to dress up as? You have decided to dress up like the digestive system because you like food. I, you could even dress up as a big mouth, says Karan. But tell me what I should dress up as. You can be an organ of the nervous system. Brain is the central computer that controls all the functions of our body. And along with the spinal cord, which runs down from the brain and is protected by the backbone. The nerves pass the messages from the brain to the rest of the body and from the rest of the body to the brain, to the brain once again. So Karin, you could dress up as the brain because you are a clever little boy. Both of them are very excited and they run to their mama and say, Mama, we have already decided what we would like to be. Kavya is going to be the stomach and I am going to be the brain because I am braining. Yes, says Mama, you are both are very, very good and I'm so proud of you. You have been such wonderful children. You have already decided, but have you? do you know what your other friends are dressing up as? No, Mama. Can we have your phone to find that out? Yes, please do. But remember, make a WhatsApp call and spend only 10 minutes on that call. That, and I'm going to sit here and listen to your conversation. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. And they go away. They take the phone and they make the call. Mira comes on the phone and says, Hello buddies. Rihan says, Hi friends, how are you? And Trisha says, I haven't seen you all in a long time. I've been missing you. Yes, friends, we all have been missing each other. But let's listen. We have only 10 minutes to make this call. So let's get to the point. Kavya, and Karan, both of us have decided that we are going to dress up as the stomach and the brain. What have you all decided? Mira, Rihan and Trisha. Mira says, I, the kind hearted, has decided to be the heart of the circulatory system. I don't want to be the helper, the veins and the arteries and I feel heart is the most important part of the body because it pumps blood to all parts of the body. Rihan says, 
No, I think the kidney in the excretory system is the most important part of the body. I am going to dress up like the two half beans. And if the kidneys did not function, all the poisonous waste will remain in our body. So that is the most important part of the body. Now, Trisha, who's been listening to all this, says, no, that's not right. I think lungs are the most important part of the body because if we didn't have lungs, we would not, if our lungs did not work, we would not be alive. We breathe because of our lungs and the windpipe and the nose are the helpers of the lungs. So no doubt that lungs are the most important part of the body or rather organs of the body. Kavya and Karan are listening and they say, what are you saying? Every organ in our body is important. If we did not have the skeletal system, the bones and the joints, we would not be able to walk. Kavya says, and if we didn't have the senses, the nose will not smell, the eyes will not see, and the ears will not listen, and the tongue would not be able to taste, and the skin would not be able to feel. So every part of the body is important. Every organ in the body is important. Mama, who is listening to all this, is very proud of her children. And she says, yes, and it is very important that we do proper exercise, eat the right food, and we eat the right food, do proper exercise, and have good hygiene, and stay healthy all the time. And do you know children, like our country and the states in our country, the states in our country, if they did not work together, our country Bharat will not be strong. So the organs in our body are like the states of the country and our body is like our country. So if our organs did not work together, then our body cannot be strong. The children who've been listening to Mama, Kavya and Karan's Mama say, Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Mama, so much for making it so easy for us to understand Otherwise, we thought each organ is important by itself. Now we know that all have to work together to make our body strong and fit and fine. So with that, thank you, Auntie, for opening our eyes. With that, we say bye to each other. And at the same time, Mama hugs her two little children and says a very special prayer, asking God to keep her children safe, fit and fine. Did you like the story, children? That was such an amazing story by Jyoti Ayer. And thank you, Joe, for this lovely story. I'm sure the children will listen to it again and again and learn the functions of different organs in the body. Thank you very much, children, for listening to this story. If you like the story, please don't forget to click on the like icon. And if you like the channel, please subscribe to our channel if you like our stories. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification next time we post another story. Thank you and we, I will be seeing you soon, very soon with another story. Thank you very much.